My question is, you were talking about how the character fails to do, or struggles in, in terms of like deciding what to do with the information that she has. Uh, don't you think that she's probably like a victim of the way that she's been treated all of her life, always being so, the treatment that the husband and the dad and everybody's so condescending towards her, like trying to protect her and saying like, oh, you shouldn't talk about that or, or you have your head just, just full of things like going shopping and things like that, always having that sort of narrative. Do you think that that has some sort of effect to like the way that she behaves and the doubts that she had on herself? Uh, definitely, of course. And then when I was writing my, one of my first scripts, she was much more a victim, in a way. And then I thought it was more interesting that she was not so much a victim, and she thought she was not, but she, she is, actually. And I think uh, much more of us, we are victims. I think uh, we are um, just uh, awakening about uh, male power and about um, that uh, to do what we want is even as, as women, you know, it's uh, very difficult in our days, even in Europe. I mean, sometimes even in France, we say, no, this is not happening in France. I'm talking especially, for example, about femicide. Do you know what it, what it is? It's like those homicides committed by matches prison, and they, have, they, they don't talk, they don't put the word here in Europe, like it's uh, like a passionate crime, but actually it's, uh, it's like, uh, I guess you know, this uh, polemic is just last week in, uh, in France, in one of a very uh, well-known magazine in, in Rocks, they published this picture of this guy, Bertrand Cantat, who murdered a woman, I mean, a very famous actress, just because it, it was a passionate crime, I mean, uh, and Elle, another magazine just published the picture of the actress, you know, to tell uh, we are, I mean, it's like, it, it's, it was like an answer. Um, we haven't talked. We haven't talked enough about what's going on between women and men. And my film, then I realized, is talking about that also. And of course, she's a victim. Just to answer this question. Since is here, thank you so much. Thank you so much, really. Um, um, I'm not really sure what is my question. So I would just like you to talk a little bit about. Uh, that scene between the cop and her ah. in the parking lot yeah. because it was something that really bothered me. And another thing that I really would like to hear more about, I don't know, maybe for others it's boring, but I don't know. Um, it was kind of um, this, this thing about the relationship between um, Argentina and Chile, ah. what there was a reference to. Um, this historical issue, if you could talk about that. Okay. Uh, the cap scene with this, um, for me it was very important. I know that it was a lot of people that bothered this scene, but for me it was like, um, it's very amusing because some people, uh, when they see the scene, they, they, this scene and they discuss about it, some guy says, but she provokes him. And uh, then you realize, but it was, uh, she, he abused her. So that's why we are talking about a victim. Yeah, she is a victim. He abuses her. I mean, even if she didn't say no in an explicit way, um, she was drunk. They were drunk, and of course he abuses her. And it was, uh, I think, is when in, in in those situations that uh, you realize someone has the power. And uh, for me, it was also a way to show that this guy had to show the power. Maybe he didn't lie when she's, you know, she said, ah, your husband, or when they had this conversation. And so um, for me, it was a, a way to show that uh, how we are all victims in a way of, uh, and we can all uh, be, uh, we, we can suffer this kind of situation. Even her, even if she has a lot of money, even if she has a car, even if she's like this, even if she's a provocative, or she has, a, she's very uh, um, sure, or she shows herself, you know, like she's very confident. Uh, it doesn't uh, prevent from to suffer from something like that. And about Argentina and Chile, of course, we had the same history. So, um, and I discovered very late, I must confess, because uh, that we had the same, that we had the same tragedy. And in Argentina, they were uh, much more even died. I mean, 30,000 people died. 
and disappear. Um, but they, they uh, treat the justice in another way. So it was uh, interesting for me to have this Argentinian husband and to make reference to both countries. And also because, um, uh, you know, la bourgeoisie, bourgeois people in, um, in Latin America, they are all the same. And they are all connected. And it's a very small world. And while I was uh, 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 investigating and I, while I was writing I realized about that and you also if you know some politics uh, you will you, you maybe you are aware that uh, also the secret service they work together between all these countries so um, and Argentinian and Chilean people were very alike even if you, they don't like to uh, to confess that and uh, actually I, I love Argentinians anyway and so I wanted to work with them, and I wanted to. I wrote this character in a, because I, I wanted to put this character. They keep, they live very near from us, and you know we have a lot of uh, people married to Argentinian people. And for me, something common, and I think it was much more interesting. That's why.